It's a story that begins with light. Our planet is bathed in light from our nearest star, the sun. When we think of the colour of the sun, we usually think of yellow, and it certainly looks yellowish at the moment, but it isn't really that colour. The yellow hue of the sun conceals the real nature of sunlight. Hidden within each sunbeam are the secrets of colour, what it is and what it does. I'm on my way to a place where I can reveal the essence of sunlight. This is the Big Bear Solar Observatory, set on a lake in the mountains of Southern California. The largest solar telescope in the world. For most of human history, people thought sunlight was pure and unchangeable. The bright orb in the sky bathes the world in light, pure white light. But then came one of the biggest revelations in science which came about when Sir Isaac Newton experimented with a prism. Isaac Newton was the first person to appreciate the significance of a really simple experiment. When he did it, he blacked out a room in his house and just let in a single sunbeam through a chink in the curtains. And in front of that, he put a prism, something that was relatively new at that time. I've got a much more sophisticated setup here because I'm taking advantage of this fantastic solar telescope and this is a modern prism, but Isaac Newton would absolutely have recognised this experiment. When the light comes through the prism, the prism slows it down and it bends it. And what Isaac Newton saw coming out of the prism told him something really fundamental about the nature of light, and it was this. visible spectrum from red through orange and yellow through green and blue and all the way to violet. White light isn't an absence of colour, it's all the colours folded in together. And what Newton realised is that if you put those components back together you get white light once more. But that white light hides within it all the ingredients for our visual world. What we'd believe to be pure immutable white light was actually a vivid spectrum at one